Hey all, this is Anupama and welcome back and I hope you are all doing good. So let's start our DIYs today. So our first DIY will be making of deer. So for this I had taken this empty thread spool. So if you don't have this, you can just roll the newspaper to form a cylinder. Now just start covering it with a dry clay. So here I am using Fabricryl mould it. Just start covering it and try to make a cylinder shape. So now we are done with the body part. Now start attaching the neck portion. Remove the excess clay and shape it out to form a neck shape. And to make it firm, I am inserting this toothpick. Cut the extra part. Now let's start making the head part. Just take some clay and roll it to form a cone shape and then insert it on the top of the neck. So make the surface soft using your fingers. Cover all the edges and attachments. So this is how it looks. So you can always soft the surface by rubbing it with talcum powder. Please gently rub the surface with talcum powder. To make the surface soft and now shape the mouth now I'll be using this vise so take two vise and twist them to form the horns for the deer and then insert them on the top of the head Now start making the legs for the deer. So guys if you are new here and watching my videos for the first time and if you like my videos please do consider subscribing and please do follow me on my Instagram ID as well that is Sizecraft Studio. So again to make the legs firm, I am inserting these toothpicks. Now take some more clay and start covering the wire with the clay to get that exact shape. Now roll some more clay and start making the ears. And then attach them to the head. Make the tail. And now here I am increasing the length of the legs. So cover the joints carefully and then soften the surface. And now allow the clay to dry completely and this is how it looks once it gets dried. So using the sandpaper. Make the surface soft. Now let's start decorating our deer. So for that I have taken some more clay and roll it out to form a coil. Apply some glue on the neck portion. And stick that clay to form a chain. And for this we will be making small balls. To hang the bells for the chain.
so now to get that exact shape give it small cut so now let's start decorating the body part so you can leave it as such or you can decorate it in your own way so here i'm using clay and later i'll be sticking mirrors And again, I'll be making small rounds to make that bells. Give them that cut to get that bell shape. And now I'll be decorating the horns. So for that, I'll be sticking clay balls here and there. And then I'll be slightly pressing it with clay tool to get that shape. So now allow the clay to dry completely. So as a base coat first I had applied white acrylic paint and then on top of it I am applying this brown color. So you can choose any colors of your choice. So this is how it looks. This, this exactly looks like a terracotta deer right. So for the horns. I'll be applying this dark brown color. So now in the squares, I'll be sticking these mirrors. So now on top of dark brown, I'll be applying this metallic gold acrylic paint. So we are almost done with the making part of this deer. So this is how it looks and it is looking beautiful, right? So now let's move on to the second DIY that is making of the horse. So for that I had drawn this shape on a cardboard and then cut it out using a craft knife. So I will be making three cutouts. So these are the three cutouts. Now stick them one over the other using white glue. And now I had taken this plaster of Paris powder. To this add little bit of glue and water to make a thick paste. And instead of plaster of Paris you can also use a wall putty powder. Now start applying this as a thin layer on the cardboard. After applying first coat, allow it to dry. And then apply a second coat to make it strong. So now to make the surface soft, dip your fingers in water and gently rub your fingers to make it soft. Allow it to dry completely and then to further soften it. Rub it using sandpaper. So you'll be getting a soft surface. So now I'll be using this clay to decorate the horse. So just I'm trying to make that hair which will be on the top of the head. Give impressions using the knife or scale. And slightly give it a cut 
using the tip of your scissors so that you'll be getting the shape like this and now let's start decorating it and now here I'm making the tail for the horse shape it out and stick it and now this will be the seat of the horse and now on top of the clay I'll be giving impressions using this waste refill make the ears stick the eyes So we are done with the clay part, allow it to dry and now I will be using this black 3D outliner to draw some patterns. Let it dry and now I will be painting it with black. So once the black color gets dry, I will be applying this pale emerald color on top of it. to get that rustic look and using a sponge dabber I'm applying this metallic copper paint here and there so let it dry and this is how it looks so this rocking horse is looking cute right so that's it for today guys I hope you guys enjoyed this two DIYs see you guys in the next video thank you for watching bye bye